Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Today is a very exciting day because we are here at the Queen Sirikin National Convention Centre in Bangkok. Very nice place here to attend Huawei Connect 2022. So as you can see, the team behind is all about Unleash Digital. We're going to see all the cool stuff that Huawei has brought here today uh, together with their partners. Let's go in and check it out right away. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so Alright guys, so we are here at the uh, Huawei Connect uh, event. Again, we are finally inside. We're going to check out a couple of cool booths here, but what is Huawei Connect really all about? Alright, so we are here at the booth. The exhibition is at the back, but before we go and check out what's at the back, I actually have Jonathan here with me, who is the director of Huawei Cloud Global Marketing. He's going to share with us a bit more on what Huawei Cloud is all about. So, Jonathan, nice to meet you today. Nice to meet you, Ling. Good, so we're going to just check with you. What is really Huawei Cloud all about? Sure. So, Cloud has been the main driving force of digital transformation so which aim to improve the customer experience the production efficiency also leads to the massive business innovation all right so now that we've done chatting with jonathan we're gonna head on and check out all the cool booths that we have behind here at the huawei cloud section let's go all right guys so one of the coolest booths here is actually right behind me and that's actually the robot dog booth as you can see we have a lot of people crowding behind there and what's cool about this robot dog is not like what you have seen before whenever i speak to someone about robot dogs they always think about pets where you can play with but this robot dog is not for playing with guys all right so together with me i have Chao Si, the expert of this robot dog uh, who's going to share a bit more on what kind of use cases we can see the robot dog being used okay. Chao Si, what's the first thing that we can see robot dog being used for uh first thing they can use for the rescue cases mm -hmm. so for the unknown areas the firefighter can use the the remote control yep. to control the dogs to inside the, the dangerous areas and using the ion uh, 360 degree cameras to scan through the whole area to mm. find out the survivors i right. see i see so right. rescue mission uh, use the dog with a camera on board to search whether there's any other survivors inside correct yes well ah. easily for firefighters to locate the survivors and get the survivor out i see yeah. i see thank you so much Elsie. thank no you problem. for explaining to us no thank problem, you no problem. all right guys so we are now at our next booth which is all about huawei cloud digital employee sarah and in case you are wondering who is sarah well sarah is on the screen right there in the form of a digital avatar now what's really cool is I was able to go up to Sarah and speak to her and she was able to reply to me directly because she could see me from the camera that's on top of the screen Now that is just a basic webcam but everything is being run on Huawei Cloud another thing that you might be wondering here is that who is actually Sarah now Sarah could be any person from any part of the world and again she can see me through the camera to interact with me and I think that's actually pretty cool so how is this actually useful well let's speak to the expert over there to find out more Okay, Shuliang, how do we really use Sarah in a real world scenario? Yeah, okay. Uh, so for the Sarah, you can place in the retail more so that Sarah can directly interact with people to give you into, uh, directions where to go and uh, which food is preferred. Any promotions can directly let you know. Instead nice. of, yeah. Uh, use a point to use a touch screens it's much more advanced yeah so what else uh, apart from the shopping mall what else can we see uh, Sarah being used at okay so for the Sarah another scenario is especially in the hospital so uh, if uh, especially in this uh, uh, pandemic period so in, in order to protect uh, the uh, nurses, we can use Sarah to replace the real-time person. Ah, awesome. Thank you so much, Julian, for that explanation. Thank you. Awesome. Is Sarah your friend, by the way? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a friend <laughs> of every Huawei employees. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, Julian. Thank Appreciate you. it. Alright guys, so I spotted another really cool booth here, and that is actually the Pangu Drug Molecule model. It's actually a very exciting model, and this is actually based on Huawei Cloud as well. Now, what this Pangu Drug Molecule model does is it basically speeds up the process of getting a medical for a current kind of sickness so think about it this way today we are seeing a lot of new kind of sickness and diseases and it might take doctors and researchers and development about 10 years to actually get the particular medicine but with this new drug molecule model it can actually shorten the time to just 18 months so almost 10 times faster and I think that's really cool about the Pangu drug molecule model because it's going to benefit everyone not just myself and yourself everyone in the world basically because it's just going to be so much faster to R&D new kind of medicines to those kind of sicknesses that we are facing all right guys, so we are currently here at the Enterprise Metaverse and I have Dan here together with me. So just a very quick explanation of what the Enterprise Metaverse is all about. Uh, Dan, please correct me if I am wrong, yeah? yeah? yeah, yeah. Okay, right, so like what Dan explained to me, basically what this does is you can really replicate an entire real situation, for example, a real building and create a virtual version of it. So you have this digital twin 
and you can control and command everything in this digital twin system and it will actually react in real time. No, so basically the, all this it allows enterprise user to be uh, create, to be more creative, much more innovative right, in the work environment. So it's basically like we can actually boost the efficiency, the overall work environment in the virtual world. So this is basically a replicate, a one-to-one -one fit to the physical world that we, we work nowadays in the office. So that is basically the enterprise metaverse, uh, all about the future of work. Let's go to the next booth. All right guys, so we are here at Low Latency Live. But before I explain about Low Latency Live, it's very important that you know it's basically powered by Meta Studio, which seamlessly integrates the physical and virtual world. Right, so Low Latency here will basically reduce those kind of latency so you can get the most instant kind of updates directly from the source itself. It doesn't matter if you're watching the content on a phone, a tablet, or even on your computer, basically it will reduce the latency to the point where it's almost instant. For instance, if you're watching a football match, guys, and you have this low latency, you will be able to see the goal when it goes in right at that point of time, rather than someone who's on a different cloud where they will see a slightly delayed kind of performance. So that's basically all thanks to the Huawei cloud to achieve this kind of low latency for live streaming and live performances. All right, guys, so before we go, we have actually visited all the interesting booths that we've seen behind, but just to hear one final word from Jonathan before we exit the halls. Jonathan, over to you. Sure. So for Huawei Cloud, our strategy is everything as a service, so which has three pillars. The first pillar is the infrastructure as a service. As I mentioned before, mm -hmm. we have the 29 regions, yep. uh, 75 av available zones, so which we call the, is the Kuverse, which is Kuverse. our one global network. So we hope uh, where your business goes, our cloud goes. Awesome. So the second pillar is the technology as a service. PaaS. Yes. So as you know, so we have over 20 billion US dollar IND investment each year. So which leads to a, a large amount of cutting edge technologies. Oh, a lot of uh, yeah. research and development budget yeah. there. Such as the cloud native, Behind? the yep. artificial intelligence. AI. Yes. Also, the data and AI convergence, convergence yep. uh, the Meta Studio. The third pillar is the uh, expertise and the, as a service. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to convert the digital transformation expertise into the cloud services. Okay. Yes, not only from our customers, our partners, but also from the Huawei itself. So we hope when an uh, enterprise or organization start their digital transformations, especially for the small and medium enterprise, they do not have to start from scratch. Yep. Yes, that's the expertise as a service. So with the strategy of everything as a service, we hope to build the cloud foundation uh, for the intelligent world. Awesome. Thank you okay. so much, Jonathan. It's great seeing you here today. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys. So there you have it. A very quick look at all the interesting stuff here at the Huawei Cloud booth. If you guys want to find out more information, I'll put a link down below where you can check out Huawei Connect in detail. Thank you for watching to the end. Don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.